Hey guys, Brady here with your daily tennis lesson. Gonna be looking today at how to return serve when the opponent hits a kick serve or a top spin serve. Uh, first and foremost, you guys are gonna be able to start to, to recognize that a kick serve's coming when you start to notice that the toss from your opponent is gonna get behind them. Most people that toss a kick serve um, ball up in the air you know, as a right-hander, are going to be tossing to about 11 o'clock. So if you ever see the server set up and they start drifting the ball out to 11 instead of the traditional 1 o'clock spot, just the fact that they've put the toss out here is your guy's cue that a kick serve is coming. All right, and they're going to reach back, they're hitting up with some top spin, it's got a bunch of junk on it, and that ball usually, if they hit it well, is going to be directed out wide and then the spin is going to make the ball go high and off the court. So one thing we want to start doing as we see that that kick serve toss got put up is start shading ourselves over to the left a little bit. All right, and we can you know hit hit backhand a majority of the time as you guys get better at this there's actually going to be some opportunity to run around the other side of a kick serve and start hitting a forehand return. Uh, first and foremost though, we're going to look at the backhand. So, what you guys are going to really want to do against this serve after you start shading over is start moving yourself up on a diagonal a little bit, okay? Because that kick serve ball, as it's moving sideways, if I just go laterally out here, I'm going to get stuck stretching sideways to make contact and what we want to start doing is cutting this ball off. So after I see the toss go up and I shade over a step, we want to start to look at coming inside the baseline a little bit to cut the ball off out on our left but a little more in front of us so we can get a little more on this swing. Um, I tend to see a lot of slice returns against this because we're a little freaked out that the ball has this much spin on it. We're in a little uncomfortable position. But I'd love to see you guys staying committed to top spin on this. And instead of just blocking it where the spin can kind of wiggle off your string, so to speak, if you guys can start hitting out on this ball with a nice cross-court designed kind of target, I think you guys are going to find this, this ball presents a really good chance to get some top spin of your own because as it gets out wide, it makes it a little easier to start meeting the ball a little more on the outside of the ball, out on this side where, where a lot of spin gets created. All right, so let's take a look at a couple of these right here. Again, the recognition is key on my part that Mark's putting the, the toss out on his left. I'll make my little shade move and then try to go cut this thing off, okay? Here we go. And he didn't get it that far wide, so there was the forehand right there. All right, so look at that position real quick. You know, again, his, his serve didn't move me as far as I expected, but I'm inside the alley and I'm inside the baseline, and I've met the ball pretty far out in front of me, so I've hit a nice offensive return here. Let's look at one more. And there's a good example right there, you guys. So I'm now outside the alley. Mark's landed the ball somewhere near the sideline, and then it jumped up pretty well. The fact that I knew it was coming, I'm able to cover some of that distance before I hit the ball. And I ended up hitting a great return cross court, and I'm probably on offense there after a pretty nice serve by my opponent, okay? That first one you saw, that forehand, if they're hitting a kick serve that's not super effective and you guys have the time to run around and hit forehand, that's an absolutely great play as well. But, you know, again, don't, don't shy away from really trying to hit over the backhand when you're returning the kick serve. Let's kind of get out of that mode of just trying to block that thing back. All right, so I hope that was helpful. That's all I got for you guys today. Please click like below this video. And if you happen to be watching on YouTube, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks, and we'll see you guys soon.